Hi, welcome everyone, my name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make custom candy bags or party favor bags using the Cricut Print and Cut feature and free template that you may download from my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. I will show you three simple ways to add design to the template using the Cricut Design Space program. For this project, we're going to need a Cricut machine, either Explore Air or Maker, printable cardstock, or glossy photo paper. I like to use Koala 30 pounds glossy photo paper. Also, we're going to need a ribbon, a hot glue gun, or clear glue. I'm going to start with the tutorial, but before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. These ones are a few designs that I have created to show you ideas. If you would like to download this template, I invite you to visit me on my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. After downloading the template, go to Cricut Design Space. We're going to insert it on the Canva. Click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, select the folder where you saved the template, select it, open it, upload, select it again, and insert it to the Canva. Same way you're going to upload any image to the Cricut Canva. Select it, click on group, and erase the watermark. You're only gonna have two layers. The one on top is for the scoring lines. Select both layers and make sure it measures 9.25 by 6.75 inches. These ones are the measurements to print it on letter size. If you prefer to print it on A4 size, download the template that says A4. I will provide you with both templates, letter size and A4 size. Grab the first layer and place it aside. Go to Operations and change it to Score. These ones are the scoring lines. I made these holes on the template, but if you don't need them, select the layer and click on Couture. And there you may eliminate them. Click on Hide All Coutures. And there you have it. Now I'm going to show you the first way to add design or background. This way is very simple. Insert a background or design to the Canva. Click on the lock and resize it. Place it on top of the template and click on Arrange to send it to the back. Now select both and click on Slice. Place the template aside and erase the layers that you are not going to need. And here is the template with background. Now place the scoring lines on top and there you can keep on customizing or you can add text. And now I'm going to move to the second way to add design or background. Select the template, go to Operations, click on Print then Cut, click on the color bar, and instead of color, you're going to select Pattern. Pick the pattern of your choice, and ready. Click on Edit Pattern if you need to edit the pattern. 
Now I'm going to show you how to add your own backgrounds to the Cricut Design Space Background Gallery. Click on Upload and instead of Image, you're going to select Pattern Fill. Now click on Upload Image. Browse, select your background, open it, upload, you may change the name if you wish, click upload, and there you're going to have it on the Cricut Gallery. Go to Operations, select Print then Cut, Instead of color, select pattern and there you are going to find your pattern. Now that you already know how to upload your own patterns, I'm going to move to the next step. I'm going to show you the last way to add the sign or background to the template. Select the template and change the color if you wish. I'm going to change it to white. For this one, I'm going to upload a few images. I'm going to use these flowers. If you would like to use these flowers or any of the backgrounds I used for the previous templates, look for the links in the video description down below. I downloaded all of this from Creative Fabrica. For this template, I'm going to be adding individual designs. You may resize and place them wherever you wish. Once you finish adding the images, you can start adding text. Click on the T and start typing on the Canva. The font that I am using is called Artist. I'm going to leave the link in the video description down below. Go to Operations to change color. I'm going to keep adding text. Now to change the font, go to Fonts. Now if you pay the membership, select Cricut. If you don't, select on System. There is where you find the font that you have downloaded on your computer. Select the font of your choice and start typing. There is the template already customized. Make sure the text is well aligned. Now select the scoring lines and hide them just for a minute. Select all of the layers and click on flatten. This is a very important step when you are using print then cut. Now it's ready to be printed and cut. Now before, place the scoring lines. If you don't see them, go to Arrange and send them to the top. Now select all the layers and click on Attach. Now let's go make it. Confirm. Send to printer and if you wish to save it, instead of selecting the printer, select 
Microsoft Print to PDF. Now, if you wish to print, select your printer, select the number of prints you wish to print, and check bleed, check use system dialog, and click on print. Now here, select the printer again, and click on preferences. I'm going to select photo printing because I am printing on glossy photo paper. On paper type, I'm going to select glossy photo paper. If you are using matte, select matte photo paper. On quality, select high. Click OK, then print. To print these templates, I am using a Canon Pixma Mega Tank. You may use any color printer. And like I mentioned before, I am printing on Koala 30 pound glossy photo paper. Find the link in the video description down below. Now here we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. In this case, I'm going to cut photo paper. So I'm going to select that one. And over here we're going to select the scoring tool. You may use the scoring stylus if you have an Explore Air or Maker or you can use the scoring wheel if you have a maker. Remember the scoring stylus go on the clamp A and the scoring wheel go on the clamp B. I'm going to select the scoring wheel for my maker and apply. Now let's go to the machine. First, replace the scoring wheel or the scoring stylus. Now it's time to replace the fine point blade. Let's start making the bag. First, make the folds. Now that the bag is already assembled, I'm going to go ahead and place the handles. For that, I'm going to use ribbon. These ones are 7 inches pieces of ribbon. Also, I'm going to make little bows like these ones to decorate the bags. I'm going to show you how to make a simple bow like this one. For that, we're going to need 
8 inches of ribbon and a piece of thread. Here we have the beautiful candy bags for party favors made using the Cricut print and cut feature. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.